Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is a review on the brand new Too Faced Life is a Festival, the Unicorn Collection. Isn't this just so pretty? This just brings out the eight year old me and I'm just like, you know what? I wanna brush some pony hair, which is why I have on this wig, cause I feel like a My Little Pony today. Uh, this is actually from Powder Room D and my code, I have a discount code listed below. And if you wanna see my thoughts on this new, I'm losing things, on this new collection right here, just keep watching. All right guys, let's get started. How beautiful is the packaging? I cannot get over how beautiful it is. I just wanna keep looking. It's even textured. I love it. Now the colors, the colors are a little um, intimidating, that's the right word. But we're gonna do this, I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do with it. What are we gonna do with it? I'm gonna use my LCE one and I'm gonna take this shade right here, it's called Life, what's it called? Young and Free. And I've kinda of already started this eye. Again, I'm taking my LTE one and we're just running this through the crease. So far, I'm definitely seeing that it's nice and pigmented. Definitely smooth. I like that there's a mirror in here. Let me grab that real fast. And, and then I'll start on the other eye for you guys. You, just, you can see how it originally just goes on. Such a beautiful matte pink. I'm excited to see where this goes. Now I'm taking the shade Rainbow Life and we're gonna put this a little bit deeper in the socket. And we're gonna put it on the outer part of the eye. I can't decide how deep we wanna do this eye, but I'm already liking these vibes with this hair color a whole lot. So I'm kinda of just placing this and I'm gonna to start to bring what's ever left over on the brush towards the inner part of the eye. My hair's getting in the way. So using my LTE One brush, and just lightly feathering this over this way. Now we're gonna add some definition. I'm gonna use this shade here called Fun to See, this beautiful purple matte. I'm taking my LT E5 pencil brush. I'm gonna look down into the mirror and I'm just going to map out the socket. I want it to be lighter as we go in towards the inner part of the eye. We definitely want the definition through here. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring this on the outer V of the eye. Since we have those pink tones in there, this purple is just gonna go really nice and kinda turn into a fuchsia. So I'm just taking it on the outer part some more, blending it towards the center, but not all the way over. And then I'm going to promptly switch back to my LC E1 and I'm just gonna soften any harsh edges. There we go, now you can see. Small circular motions. I feel like this really helps with controlled blending. So I feel like I do this in all my tutorials now. I take a little bit of my concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in light for this. And I'm just going to use my, so this is the Laura Mercier Cream Eye Detail Brush. I love this for carving out a lid. And we're just going to carve this out. This really cleans it up and make sure that we have a really nice bright base for the shimmer that we're about to put on our lid. And I'm just gonna bring it over all the way to about right there. All right guys, so I'm gonna take this shade right here called Euphoric, and I'm gonna put this all over my lid. I'm just gonna use my finger. I feel like this is just gonna put it on there faster, and then we'll just correct everything with a MAC 228. First things first, just put it on. It's going on really good with my finger. It's a really beautiful rose gold with a little bit more yellow in it. Now I'm gonna grab my MAC 228, the original 228. Still using the shade Euphoric, and we're just gonna fill in any of the bare spots. Now I'm taking my MAC 228 again and Mystic Rain, and we're gonna put this right through here, just to kind of tie into the pinky purple vibe. 
So now we want to melt this, the shimmer, into the matte. So we're just going to go over this with our pencil brush again and just melt these together. That way we don't have too much of a harsh line. So I'm getting really pink and really creative. I'm going to use the Stila Magnificent, well no, Glitter and Glow, and this is in the shade Queen. I believe this is a new one from Stila. Look how beautiful it is. I love it. It's so pretty. The packaging is so pretty. So I'm going to take a Elsie E6, my little tiny liner brush, and because this is pink and it's so metallic, this is going to be very easy to do because it hides all the mistakes. But I am gonna do two layers, only because I want this to be really, really intense. It does have great pigment, but I mean, we're just trying to be on another level of extra. I wish Too Faced would've came out with some of these, something similar for this collection, because I was looking for something to do this with, with the Too Faced, but the Stila one. I actually just bought this the other day at Sephora, so I was itching to use it anyway. Dang, this is so pretty. And then now I'm just going to take the actual wand and I'm just going to tap it here and fill in any blank spots. I'll probably do two coats as well. So I'm going to finish up my eyes now. Well, semi finish up my eyes. I'm gonna throw on some mascara. This is actually the new Benefit mascara, the Bad Gal Bang. Um, I'm obviously gonna wear fake lashes, but I figured I'd just try this out for you guys. I tried it the other night on Instagram Live and I really wasn't that impressed, but I figured I'd try it again and give it another chance. Like, I feel like it just does nothing for my lashes. I like my LT one, the LT Lashful. That's my favorite one. But, I mean, it does add length, it just doesn't really curl them like I want them to. So, now I'm going to mix Beeman and Unicorn Tears. Pile it on my MAC 228, this is the original 228. And I'm just going to pack this on my inner corner. I mean, what's new? Nothing. Nothing's new. Rose is just over highlighting her inner corner. Woo! This is so pretty! It's going with my blue hair. Unicorn Tears is more blue, and then Beeman is a little bit more yellow. Mixed together, they're so perfect. Alright guys, now we're finishing up underneath our eye. We're going to take this shade again, fun to see, and the pencil brush. And I'm just going to start by running this along my bottom lash line. I'm taking the smallest amount. And I still have a little bit of extra powder left on from where I was baking, so we'll just dust that off in a second. Any fallout, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of fallout. But I will say that I figured this palette would be a touch more pigmented. I feel like the lid color is kind of fading as I do this. And that's no good. Are you noticing it too? can't see you. He says yes, but quietly, not to offend anyone. I mean, it goes on really nice. And I'm not seeing it with the um, mattes, I'm seeing it with the shimmers. I haven't even had it on that long. We'll see. Maybe it just lightly fades for a second. So I wanted to add a little bit of a brow bone highlight. I'm gonna go into the shade Beeman again, and this is an LTE2. And I'm just gonna pop this on our brow bone. And we're gonna beam it up. Really pretty. Super blind. All right, so one of these I absolutely love. One of them frightens me beyond all reasons. So these are the Unicorn Dreams and Unicorn Tears highlighting sticks. The, the Tears is the blue one, and then the Dreams is the rose gold. The rose gold is absolutely beautiful, and it's not showing up really good. My lighting's really soft, but you guys can see. Ooh, I see it right there. So we're actually gonna be putting on Unicorn Dreams, the rose gold, because 
Yo, girl, I am about to have a blue highlight. I mean, I know sometimes I want a blue highlight, but I don't think I want a blue highlight right now. But I will say the formula is really beautiful. We'll test that out. The blue is really cool. Like, if we were going to Coachella, I think it'd be really cool. I think they, um, I don't want to say the word sticky because it's such a negative word. But say if you wanted to put some glitter on top of these and have like some glitter through here, these would really hold the glitter really nicely. They don't feel heavy on the skin, but they definitely are something that glitter could adhere to. Let's see what else about them. Let's just pop this one on. And how I'm going to apply it is I'm just going to use my finger to blend it. Look how beautiful. Make sure this is in focus, babe, because this is just, ugh. Oh, it's so pretty. Let me show you the blue one too. I might as well just show you the blue one, even though we're not gonna use it. Look at this. Look at this. It's a unicorn horn. So beautiful. Packaging is everything, of course. Too Faced does not let us down with that. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit on my cheekbone. We're gonna be testing out the rainbow highlighter. I figured you guys would wanna see that one. But we're just gonna use a little bit of this to kind of show you how it goes on. And it's just so light. And it doesn't make your foundation separate either. Douglas, do not start with me. He wants a unicorn. We'll try and find you one. So I'm so excited to use this. This is the Unicorn Tears Iridescent Mystical Bronzer. Woo, woo, woo. Act like we're actually gonna mess up the unicorn. We're not, we're not touching it. But we are, okay, we'll lightly touch it. We have to, we have to. But I'm gonna start by just using the bronzer. And I'm using an LCF10 brush. And let me pull back my wig. So I'm actually not upset with the bronzer. It's not anything like I imagined. It's not even shimmery. Do you guys hear, do you guys hear my bad dog? And I'm just gonna bring it down my nose a little bit, just warm up my face. And I'm gonna grab some more. I actually love this bronzer. It's not what I expected in any way. This is crazy. I thought it would be shimmery. It's actually so warming and pretty. So I don't think I'd want to swirl these around, but I did just grab my little finishing ponytail brush from Laura Mercier and I just went over them really lightly. And I just highlighted my cupid's bow. And it's, it's super pigmented. I don't want to put it on my cheeks though because I do want to use the rainbow highlighter and the brush. But I wanted you guys to see and just know that it's like, there you go, I'll swatch it on my chin because it's gonna be easier to blend back in. But it's really blue and it'd be a beautiful highlight. It's definitely a beautiful highlight, but I didn't want to use it because we want to use this one. So we're about to go into this one. Let me find the brush. I have a rainbow cheek. Let's do this other side. So I was very careful and I just drug my brush. You see where the pink lines up and the orange and the yellow. So I just drag it across. Oops. There we go. I'm not getting up with the purple though. Okay, here we go. Let me get my get my wig. There's nothing natural about this look. It's just so fun. I feel like this would be super cute. Who is calling? I feel like this would be super, uh, this would be super cute for a festival look, but we are still gonna blend this out a little bit. We're just gonna like soften the edges. I can't get over how it, there's like a rainbow on my face. <laughs> I love the brush. I feel like I'm a little girl playing in makeup for the first time. I have never had so much fun in my life. All right, so I'm just gonna grab my beauty blender. I'm actually using a beauty blender today and I'm just gonna go over the edges and just kind of soften them. That way we just don't look like we have straight up stripe on our face. So this is definitely not for everyday wear. But I would definitely say it's fun. I mean, Coachella's coming up. There's lots of music festivals. Who doesn't want to have a rainbow on their face? I kind of just want to see what it's like if we swirl them all together. Just kind of go over them like that. And then I'm going to highlight here. So then it just kind of goes into, I guess, the blue shade is more dominant because of all the purples but it's still really pretty and I think that the rose gold in here and then these three the top three are absolutely just stunning because that's what I'm getting right here 
and it's just beautiful. So I'm gonna just throw this up here. And I'll throw it around along here just to kind of connect it. We're real festively today, and then always I'm gonna go over it and blend it out a little. Oopsie, dropped a brush. So now we're gonna set our face. This is new as well. This is the Too Faced Festival Refresh Mystical Effects Setting and Refreshing Spray. I sprayed this the other day, but this is what's really cool. You've got to shake the heck out of it. I'm telling, I'm talking like another level of shake because all of the mystical and wildliness is at the bottom. And we're gonna get them to get a really tight. Oh, there's a little guy. It has a ball in it that helps shake it. Woo! There's still more down here. Okay, so let's set our face. It's so pretty. It smells like sweet tarts. It's and it feels really, really refreshing in the bottle. Of course, it's beautiful. Where's the white card? I'm gonna fan myself dry. All right, guys, I'm gonna swatch these on my lips for you guys. I'm not gonna use liners. These aren't gonna be the best swatches, but you guys, I wanted to wear them and actually show you what they look like on. Cause there's some blue ones and I'm pretty sure those are gonna be frightening. But just in case you guys want to see what they look like on, I'm gonna do it for you. Let's get started. I'm gonna do lipstick and then I'm gonna do the gloss on top. So here we go. All right, so first up we have, I'm gonna be able to see this in the monitor. We have Mermaid Tears and I'm actually not mad at the color, but I do need to stop talking while I apply it. It feels like a really nice formula. It's a little sticky, but that's to be expected. Let me grab a mirror. Like I said, these aren't gonna be perfect. This is actually really pretty with my hair. So if you have blue hair, I would get this one. This one has like pink reflex and it's green. You see the vibes? Now we're gonna put the Mermaid Tears Magic Crystal Transforming Lip Topper on top. I do like the applicator. It's really good for precision. However, I'm not seeing much of a difference. Do you see it? So here's Mermaid Tears with the lip topper. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Not my favorite, but we could work with it. And to the next one. So now I'm swatching Unicorn Tears. I don't have it on all the way, but you know what? I'm not mad at it. I feel like it's really pretty. I feel like it's a little patchy, but I feel like the more you work with it, it's gonna go on better. You just gotta give it a second to warm up. It's actually really pretty. So now we're putting on the Unicorn Tears Topper. It does, this one wants to separate a little bit more. I don't know if it's because I already put some on. But it's definitely fixable. And it's really, really pretty. Mm, mm, mm. Now I'm applying the shade Angel Tears. And I do find them a little patchy. I'm not really sure why, but they're still really pretty. I don't wanna like say it's because I've taken my lipstick off a couple times. Or maybe I'm just not used to this formula, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw on Angel Tears Gloss, which is super pretty, and it looks like this. So here's Angel Tears. I feel like this is, there we go. I am seeing patchiness. I'm seeing, I'm seeing some white patchiness. I'm not really sure what's going on. Like I'm loving the tones but I don't want to be walking around all patchy. 
And I don't want to have to keep reapplying this. Oh no, guys. Still pretty though. Okay, so fairy tears. Let me just tell you, I am so, I think I just saved the best for last. Not only is this one going on the best, but now I look like a Barbie doll and my whole life is made. Oh my gosh, this one's so pretty. And it's like yellow too. It comes out yellow. I mean, the tube is yellow, but it goes on hot pink glitter. Now I'm applying Fairy Tears Gloss on top. This is my favorite combo. This might just be just a gorgeous combo that I'll actually wear again. I want to try it with a liner and all kinds of good stuff. Woo! Hmm. So pretty. All right, guys. This is the finished look. The verdict is. Good job. All right, guys. This is the finished look. The verdict is. What is the verdict? I like it. I wish the shadows were a little bit more, more pigmented. They're still shimmering and they haven't faded anymore, but they're not wowing me. Um, it's a beautiful collection. It's definitely not an everyday kind of vibe, but it's still really pretty. Fairy Kiss or Fairy, fairy Tears. Let me grab it again. Yeah, Fairy Tears lipstick and gloss are my absolute favorites. The bronzer is actually really beautiful and I would recommend getting that for sure. I think that is absolutely stunning. I think the highlighter is, I mean, it's just a collector's item in my opinion. But the bronzer is actually really wearable and I feel like the unicorn, if you have the heart to mess him up, which I probably don't, but he'd be a beautiful highlighter, but the actual bronzer is beautiful. Like that is just like perfect warmth. The highlighter on is a little ridiculous unless you're going somewhere where you can wear a rainbow highlighter. I'm obviously not going to wear this to a meeting or out to dinner, but it's still really fun. I mean, we love makeup and this collection is so beautiful and it brings out the eight-year-old in me. The setting spray is nice. I will say I love the setting spray. And if you're looking for a cream stick highlighter, these are actually incredibly nice. And this one right here, Unicorn Dreams, is beautiful and goes on really smooth. And I would have just worn this alone and been done. And it's just really pretty and it melts into your skin. The other lipsticks are, I like the vibes. I mean, I even like the colors. I just thought they were a little patchy. This one's not patchy, but I feel like the gloss is starting to bleed, but that's probably my fault because I need a lip liner, but I just want to swatch them really fast for you guys. Verdict is, get you the bronzer, the setting spray, the highlighter stick, and I don't know. I'm gonna let you decide what else you need. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. As always, I'm honest. Do I like this collection? Yes some of it and I told you what I liked but make sure that you subscribe thumbs up and if you like this video let me know let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you in my next video